Hey my friend, this is Joey. In this video, we are going to create a Python program to find the sum of n natural numbers. The program is going to ask us to enter a number from the console and it's going to calculate the sum of all the natural numbers till that number. So let's say we enter 15, then it should give us the sum of the numbers from 1 to 15. You will learn three methods to find the sum of n natural numbers in this video. Hence, you must watch this video till the end. Let's start coding the program straight away. But before that, if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on any new videos of Python coding interview questions I create. So we'll first create the main function. All right, main function created. Now we are going to declare a variable v underscore num. The number that we are going to take from the console will be stored in this variable. Now we are going to write the input function which will help us receive the number from the console within which we'll write the message enter the number and this message will be displayed on the console. We'll have to of course typecast the input taken using the input function into integer because input function always returns a string. We'll create a function sum underscore for which is going to accept one argument which will be the number entered from the console. So we are going to use the def keyword to define a function and then we'll write the name of the function which will be sum underscore for and it's going to accept one argument let it be n colon and there you go function is defined. Within the body of the function, we'll now declare a variable v underscore sum and initialize it to zero. This v underscore sum will contain the final sum. Then we'll write a for loop which will start from one and it's going to run till the value of n. So it will be for i in range one comma n plus one colon. There you go. Within the for loop, we'll simply write v underscore sum plus equals to sign i. This line of code will add the value of i, which are numbers from 1 to the number entered from the console to the value of v underscore sum. After the for loop has completed all its iterations, the value v underscore sum will contain the final sum. So let's return the value of v underscore sum so it will be return v underscore sum there you go function complete now we need to print the value returned by this function sum underscore for on the console to do that we need to call this function sum underscore for and we are going to make that call within print so it will be print and within double quotes we will write the sum of first curly braces numbers is curly braces again and within format we'll pass v underscore num first and then we are going to make the function call so it will be sum underscore for and as its parameter we'll pass v underscore num i think the first method is complete let's run the program and check the output Alright, so you can see it is asking me to enter the number. Let me enter 15 and I know that the sum of first 15 numbers, that means the sum of numbers from 1 to 15 is 120. So let's see if the program gives 120 as the output or not. Alright, you can see the program displays the sum of first 15 numbers is 120. So I can say that this method is giving the correct output. Let's look into the second method to calculate the sum of n natural numbers. The second method will be to calculate the sum using while loop. Let's create a function sum underscore while for that, which will also accept one argument. Within the body of the function, we'll declare and initialize two variables. So the first variable will be v underscore sum underscore while and we'll initialize it to zero. Of course, this variable is going to contain the final sum after all the iterations of the while loop are over. And the second variable will be x and we are going to initialize it to 
one. Now we'll start a while loop which will run till the value of x reaches the value of n. So it will be while x less than equals to n. Okay, within the while loop, we'll write v underscore sum underscore while plus equals to x. So we are adding the value of x to the value of the sum variable, which is v underscore sum underscore while something similar we did in for loop over here in this line of code. And now we'll have to increment this variable x by one because like for loop, while loop doesn't do it for us. So it will be x plus equals to one. And finally, this function is going to return the final sum. So it will be return v underscore sum underscore y. And this function is complete. So now let's work on printing the sum of first n natural numbers using this function that we created using while loop. So we'll have to call that function and we are going to call it again from print. So let me copy and paste this line of code over here. I'm going to make small changes in the message. So after numbers, I will simply write using while loop because it is going to avoid the confusion as which sum is getting printed using which function. And over here, instead of calling sum underscore for, we'll call sum underscore while. There you go, job done. Let's run this program and check the output. All right, it's asking me to enter the number again. This time, let me enter 10. And there you go. It's saying the sum of first 10 numbers is 55. So this particular output is getting calculated using the for loop. And the program also says the sum of first 10 numbers using while loop is 55. This particular output as the message rightly states is getting calculated using while loop. So both the methods coded in the program are working fine. Now in the final method to find the sum of n natural numbers, we'll simply use this mathematical formula, which is a popular formula in the world of mathematics for the sum of n natural numbers. So let's define a function. So it will be def and the name of the function, let me give that as sum underscore math, which will also accept one argument. Let it be n again. All right. And within its body, we'll simply write return. And after space, we'll write n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, let me take this one in bracket as well. All right, this is the formula. This is the mathematical formula to calculate the sum of first n natural numbers. Now let's print the result using this function as well. So let me copy and paste this line of code over here. And instead of using while loop this time, I will write using mathematical formula. So instead of sum underscore while, we are going to make a call to this function sum underscore math. So it will be sum underscore math. That's it. Now let's run the program again and check the output. All right, it's asking me to enter the number again. Let me enter five this time. You can see that the sum across all three methods of the first five natural numbers, that means numbers from one to five is getting calculated as 15. And thus we can say that the program is working fine. And now you know three methods using which you can calculate the sum of first n natural numbers in Python. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do let me know in case of any doubts in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video of Joystick. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself.